Hi there, it's Alexei Romersky, and today on Face to Face, we are interviewing Francesca Scorsese from the HBO show, We Are Who We Are. All right, Francesca Scorsese, is that good? Yes, it was quite good, actually. Quite good. It's <laughs> my mom. Thanks for being here. So we're going to just uh, rapid fire questions. All right. When I was reading up on your history and little tidbits online, you mentioned that you have known for a, since you were quite young about your interest in film. Now, obviously, the obvious answer is because of your parents. Right. But do you remember a particular moment where you actually thought, actually, this is something that I kind of want to get into? I mean, I practically grew up on film sets. So it was always something that I was just so familiar with and so used to. Like even just the smell of the set, like just brings me back to my childhood. I know it sounds so weird, but it's like wood and, and I don't know, I just loved it. Um, but I don't think there was actually like a particular moment where I was like, I wanna like direct, you know? Right. I, there was a particular moment where I knew I wanted to act. I was like 14 and I don't know, I was going through a really rough period. And so I was just constantly like watching TV shows and movies, like more so than usual, like, like religiously. And I just love the fact that I could just put myself into somebody else's shoes and like pretend that I was them basically. And like maybe say their lines over and over again and just like forget about my own life for a little bit. To be an actress or actor, you have to have a certain personality. <laughs> and I would imagine, not being an actor, that you either have to be somebody who is so confident in themselves that you can just jump into somebody else, or you have to be somebody who is so uncomfortable with themselves that they want to be oh, yeah. hide behind the character. Totally. Which one are you? <laughs> oh God, I think I'm the second one. I mean, I'm more like, I, I can be in the middle. I would say when I first started, I was much more like uncomfortable with myself. You get used to it, but it's it sucks in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, We Are Who We Are is this new show that you're in and you're getting lots of praise. All about teenagers. Now you were, this when was this made? It's two years ago. So you were 19, just at the end of your teenage years. I turned 20 on the final day that I, the day that I wrapped, Amazing. basically. So what I find interesting is that this time period, more than any, yeah. every, generations before, every parent has been able to say, I know what you're going through as a teenager. Right. We've all been there, we've all been there. But in this last generation, you suddenly had this sort of barrage of new technology and a uh, whole new social realm. Yeah. So parents don't really know what teenagers are going through anymore. Having just left teenagedom, oh, God. <laughs> what would you say the sort of the pitfalls or any advice you have for young teenagers who have all this new stuff to contend with? Oh God. I would say just don't put all of your emotions online. <laughs> it's like, okay. I mean, I feel like maintaining some sort of privacy, it's just a smart thing to do, you know? Cause like once you, put something out there, it's out there, you right. know? It's tough. It's crazy. I wrapped my dad's Christmas presents in Marvel wrapping paper and it was on the freaking Daily Mail. Like, <laughs> I was like, what? Like, just random things. You never know what's gonna blow up and you want it to be like good if it does, you know? Right. And if it's something that doesn't, thankfully nothing horrible has blown up for me <laughs> yet. But like, I don't know. I, I just feel like people, especially with like, the accessibility to so many different types of social media is like people have to be extra careful you know what do you think the benefits are i would say getting your art out there like just creativity right. in general you can collaborate with so many different people you have all these different opportunities to reach out to different people and you know get your art or whatever you want to put out there out there do you find a, a, not only as a young person but also as a creative person do you find it is a pressure to you, you feel like you have to get stuff out because if you're not getting stuff out, what are you doing? And yeah, I've had like breakdowns trying to, trying to like, like just like moments where I've just like flipped out because I'm like, I need to be doing something. I need to be creating something. But also like I have to keep in mind, like I'm still in school and you know, like I have so much time to like do what I want to do. And I, it all takes time, you know, everything Everything takes time. I don't think you should rush yeah. anything if you want it to turn out like the best that it can. What would you say to somebody uh, who is starting off who wants to try and break out from the pack? And how, how do you make yourself visible? 
Huh. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to know as well. I feel like the most important thing is to just like do what you want to do. Like don't let other people tell you what to do. If you want to do something, do it. It's like so many amazing things come from spontaneity and also just like intense passion behind them. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I think it's true. I think it's about following your own. Yeah, exactly. Because I think maybe that's also the problem is that because everybody sees what everybody else is doing, yeah. you're constantly comparing. Yeah. So you should just have blinkers on and just- Just like do it, yeah. Focus, be yourself, do what you want to do. Um, and don't let other people like put you down for wanting to do what you want to do. Yeah.